Hey guys, it's Kelly. Welcome back. Today's video is going to be an all new release rambles. So if you've never seen one of these before, it's basically a wish list and an anti haul in the same video, kind of like a will I buy it. And I try to film these every couple weeks. Sometimes it ends up being every single week if there are a lot of new releases and you guys are tagging me in quite a few things. I try to hop on sooner to come and talk about them, but I think it's been at least two weeks since I've done one, so I have quite a few products to discuss. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I do upload five days a week, Monday through Friday at 9 a.m. Eastern, but for now, let's go ahead and hop into the video. Okay, first let's talk about Wet n Wild. So they have two new collections that I want to discuss. One of them we have not gotten the full details on, but it was just released and announced on Trend Mood. They're going to be coming out with a Written in the Stars collection, which this to me, we don't have a ton of details. All it says is sneak peek, wet and wild new collection, Written in the Stars. But I feel like this is probably going to be their fall collection. In the spring they did the Gothographic collection, the summer we had Flights of Fancy, and now it looks like I'm assuming this is going to be the fall collection. So the photo is dark blue and it has gold writing on it, so I'm not totally sure what to anticipate with this collection, but based on the fact that it has the word star in it, I'm hoping that it's something with some glitter. I would love to see some more glitter eyeshadows or more of their liquid eyeshadows like they had in the Gothic graphic collection. I picked one of those up in the spring and absolutely loved it. I only got one thing from the Flights of Fancy collection and it was one of the quads and I was kind of disappointed by it. Not super disappointed by it because it's $2.99 but I definitely I wouldn't be interested in purchasing another one if the quality is the same to be honest. It was just okay for me. What else do you guys think is going to be in this collection? I'm assuming by the term stars that there's going to be something glittery but it also looks like they have some astrology signs in the background so I'm not sure if they're going to go more that route and what kind of makeup they would tie in with that. I'm really interested to see this collection. You guys know I love Wen Wild so I always get excited about their seasonal releases and like I said, I think this is going to be their fall release. But they also just announced another collection and this one we didn't even have any sneak peek of. Like you can see that this is already in stores and it was spotted at Bed Bath & Beyond so if you're interested that's the spot to go check it out. I feel like when Wild Collections take so long to come to the drugstores near me. I go so frequently and I look every time like do they have any new Wet n Wild stuff and they don't. But if you have a Bed Bath & Beyond near you, you might be able to pick some of this up there. So this collection is the Fire Dragon versus Ice Dragon collection and it looks like they have a nice range of things. I'm so excited that they finally put bronzers in one of their collections. I feel like all their recent collections have had highlighters, quads, maybe like some sparkly lipsticks. They're all the same. None of them ever have bronzer, so I was really excited to see that there are bronzers in this collection. The only things I'm really interested in from this would be the bronzer. It looks like they have two shades just based on the photo that I've seen on Trend Mood and two highlighters as well. One is white and one is blue. I'm really excited to see the swatches of these because the blue one I think would make a really pretty eyeshadow if it's super pigmented, but if it's not I think it would be a really nice highlight as well. That's the only things I'm really interested in. Maybe the brushes, the quads I'm not that interested in. The only one that sort of catches my eye is the Mythical Creatures quad and the only thing that's really catching my eye out of that is the one purple shade because it looks to be a duochrome so I might wait to see some swatches on those but what disappoints me is that these two quads they both have the same colors in them and the colors might be a little bit different if you swatch them out but they both have the cream shade and then that brown transition shade and I would love to see the two quads be different because I'm sure a lot of people will buy both of them and then you're going to have duplicate shades. So I would have just loved if they went all in with the blue and purple color scheme on the Mythical Creatures quad and done some other shades there. So you'll have to let me know down below if you're interested in either this or the other Wet n Wild collection that we talked about. If you have seen this in drugstores or Bed Bath & Beyond near you, let me know. I've also been getting some tags on some new single eyeshadows that Colored Rain just released. They did come out with a new collection. Their single eyeshadows retail for $6.99 a piece or you can use a coupon code to receive 10% 10 off. All the shades in this new collection are all matte and I will say right now I don't necessarily need a lot of matte colorful eyeshadows because I feel like I filled that void with my Blossom palette and I do have quite a few matte colorful shadows in my singles collection 
But that being said, I am still interested and I've been wanting to pick up some single eyeshadows from Colored Rain for quite a while now, so this definitely gives me more of a push. I told you guys in my last Get Ready With Me that I just made a Davina order and purchased a few singles from Davina. The next brand I want to buy singles from is Luxy, and then after that, I definitely have my eye on Colored Rain. The shades from this that entice me are the green, of course, because you know I'm in a green phase and can't stop wearing green eyeshadow, but I'm also feeling that light lilac-y purple tone, and then the pastel orange shade, and some of the blues and the purples. The others I feel like I have, but I'm definitely interested in the blues and purples. So I probably will pick up a few of these eventually. Like I said, the next single eyeshadow purchase that I make is going to be Luxy. But after that, you guys will have to let me know what your favorite shades are from Colored Rain and which colors you recommend. I did have a few of you guys leave me recommendations for shades from Luxy, and I already I'm already like starting a list. So if you have single eyeshadows you think I need to try, let me know in the description or the bleh, in the comment section down below. I'm in a single eyeshadows phase right now and I'm trying to build my singles collection as opposed to my eyeshadow palettes collection. And you might have noticed that in my release rambles and some of my other videos that I've just kind of been focusing more on single eyeshadows and I'm going to talk a little bit more about that in a video later this week but for me I just feel like that's a better investment for me because I have a little more flexibility to build palettes and I can be extremely selective with the shades that I pick. So all that being said yeah, I'm gonna pick some of these up. All right, let's talk about Kylie Cosmetics. They're coming out with a new summer 2018 eyeshadow palette themed around bananas, which does not make any sense to me because the promotional photos, the packaging, everything has bananas on it, but this palette does not have a single yellow eyeshadow. Not a single one. And some of these maybe you could say are like yellowish. They're like beiges with a yellowy undertone, but none of these are yellow. And I don't know, all of her palettes look the same to me, especially recently. I just feel like, based on the packaging, they had such potential with this. You could have done a beautiful eyeshadow palette with some bright red, some shimmery red, some more corally tones, some yellow, some mustards. Like, a yellow and red themed palette could be really cool and could be really unique. But then when you swipe to the actual palette photos, this looks like every palette she's released recently. Just a lot of muted shades does not go very deep, not a huge range in the shades, probably wouldn't even work so well for quite a few skin tones, like, I just don't even know what's going on. And then you look at this and so many of the shades look the same. Those oranges look the same, the golds look the same, like there's like dupes within the same palette. So that is definitely a no for me. I don't know what is going on at Kylie Cosmetics. Let's talk about the Too Faced Tutti Frutti collection. I talked about this, I don't know if it was my last release rambles or the one before that, but we had a small sneak peek just kind of of the packaging and what the theme would be, but we didn't know any of the products, all we knew that it was going to be released in the fall. But we've now seen a tiny little sneak peek photo and you've got to like really zoom your camera in to even see what's going on here, but it looks as though there are some smaller eyeshadow palettes with seven shades. You do, it looks like there's some cream products in there. I can't tell, okay. At first I thought these were lip products, but now I'm thinking maybe that's a cream highlighter and a cr cream blush. It also looks like there might be some liquid products in droppers. Also some split pans. That's probably what I'm most excited about are these split pan blushes. Also looks as though there are some dewy products and some glosses and I think these are shimmery eyeshadows. Usually I would assume these were just shimmery glosses, but they're sitting right next to glosses, so I feel like they're liquid eyeshadows, which I'm excited about. I'm gonna say I'm not pumped about the entire collection. Like I would say 90% of it I'm probably gonna pass over, but these split pans have my interest, and also if those are liquid eyeshadows, I might pick one up. And finally, let's talk about the product that I've had the most tags in, the most DMs about, the most questions about, the new palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills, the Norvina palette. So this palette's gonna be releasing on the 17th on their website. It will be at Ulta on the 29th and on other online retailers on August 7th and then internationally online on August 8th. So, okay. We've kind of been getting sneak peeks. We've been hearing for a very long time that uh, bleh, a very long time now that Norvina was going to be coming out with her own palette for ABH. And I'm a really big fan of Anastasia Beverly Hills. 
of the Modern Renaissance palette. Hello, love it. The Subculture palette, I know I'm in the minority, but I love that palette. So I was really interested to see what this was gonna be. And, okay, so a couple days ago when we got the first sneak peeks and everything was purple, I was like, yes, give me the purple palette. Let me see this palette. And then when this sneak, or not sneak peek, this isn't a sneak peek, when this announcement finally showed up, my initial reaction was just like, oh. And I hate to say that, because I know that I'm in the minority, and I know that so many people are really pumped about this palette, but I just feel like I wanted it to be something that it's not. And you guys will have to let me know what your thoughts are down below, because I really do feel like I'm the only one that's not super excited about this palette. I even did a poll on my Instagram stories. If you guys do follow me on Instagram, you know that I do these quite often. When new releases are announced, I like to put a screenshot on my story and ask you guys if you're interested or not. And for this one, two thirds of you said yes, and then a third of you guys said no. And I'll be honest, usually on those polls, more than half of people say no. So that was huge that so many people said they were interested in this, and so many of you guys were DMing me like, yep, I'm gonna buy it, yep, I'm so excited about it. And I sat here for so long staring at it, like you, you, like I was trying to talk myself into it, like this is, you want this, you love Anastasia, you love their shadow formula, you're gonna love this palette. And I don't doubt that if I bought this, I would make a lot of looks with it and I would enjoy using it, but something about it is just underwhelming to me. So let me kind of walk you through my thought process here. I would have just loved to see a few tweaks. Like this is so close to being a palette that I would love, but there are a few things that I would change. Like the fact that there's only one matte purple and it's very light. And in this, at first when I saw the photo, I thought it was like a semi matte or like kind of a, just a satin shade. But then when I saw swatches, that lighter purple does look to be matte. But I wanna see some dark purple mattes, especially because most brands cannot get a purple right. If you've tried a purple eyeshadow, you know like purples are the hardest eyeshadow color to formulate. They just tend to be patchier, harder to blend out. They're just, it's hard to make a good purple. So Anastasia is a brand that I trust to come out with really great eyeshadows. So I feel like if anyone could give us a really amazing purple, it would be Anastasia. And the fact that this purple themed palette only has three purples and Norvina is like the queen of purple is just a little weird to me. I don't think it has to be all purple, but I would have loved at least one darker matte purple and maybe even another purple. Also, personally, I probably would have cut out at least a few of these browns and I'm not against having browns in eyeshadow palettes. I like browns, I wear browns a lot and I know that the average consumer does as well and most people aren't gonna buy a palette that's completely colorful. There's definitely a market for that, but the wide range of consumers likes to have a couple browns in their palette, and I get that. But here's what I'm thinking. Most people who are gonna buy this palette, maybe not most, but a lot of people buying this palette are big Anastasia fans. So they probably already own either Modern Renaissance or Soft Glam. When I look at this, the two corner shades, like the orange and the more burnt red, those are in, Modern Renaissance, they might not be exact dupes, you might swatch them and see some color differences, but when you start blending shades out on your eyes, they're not gonna be that different. And I also feel like there are so many dupes in this to Soft Glam, like that shimmery pink Wild Child, that feels like it's in Soft Glam, and some more of the neutral shimmer shades I feel like are in Soft Glam. So I just would have loved if one or two of the golds were removed and replaced with a purple, or a couple of the browns were replaced with a pink, and I don't think it needs an orange. And a lot of people have been saying that this reminds them of the Desert Dusk palette from Huda Beauty, which I agree with. But the first palette that I thought of, like when I saw this, the first thing I thought was, that is that Maybelline Soda Pop palette. Like, does this not look like the Soda Pop palette from Maybelline? I don't know if you could dupe every shade for shade, like some of the shimmers in that one might be mattes in this one and vice versa, but the color story is similar. You guys will have to let me know down below, am I just being too picky? Do I want something unrealistic? I definitely think this palette makes sense for their line, especially knowing that this is what the average consumer probably does want. People don't want just a purple and pink palette, even if I do, so I get it, but I don't know if I'm going to get it, you know? 
So that's going to go ahead and complete this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like I said, I want to hear your thoughts on all of this in the comment section down below. Let me know if you're planning on picking any of these up. If you agree or disagree with the opinions that I shared in today's video, please let me know. If you enjoy this Release Ramble series, please give it a thumbs up so I know you like it, and I will see you guys tomorrow at 9 a.m. Eastern. Bye!